Hi guys, it's Steffi from the Novelty Corner. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to do a top five Wednesday video and I haven't done one of these for ages. So bear with me. I was really excited by this week's theme, which was the top five books that you read because of booktube or blogging. So basically those top books that you read because you saw someone else talking about it somewhere online. That's pretty much most of my books that I read these days, but I thought I would share the ones that I have decided are my top five ones that I've read. So these are sort of some of my favorites. And for many of you, this will not come as any surprise. So one of the books is definitely The Martian by Andy Weir. Pretty much everyone and their mother knows this book and currently my copy is still on loan to someone else. So I need to track it down and get it back. But it is the story of Mark Watney who is stranded on Mars after a mission gone wrong and he has to survive there until a rescue mission can be mounted. It is full of crazy science that may or may not be realistic but it is a hell of a lot of fun. It was a lot funnier than I ever expected it to be. And I'm so glad that I read it. It was probably one of the very first books that I read because of people talking about it so much on booktube. The second book that I picked is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers, which is one of my all time favorite books now. It was one of my top books last year and it was, I read it purely because someone had talked about it on booktube and I heard about it and I thought it sounded really interesting. So I decided to pick it up and give it a shot because I love sci-fi, but at that stage I hadn't read a lot of adult sci-fi for a very long time and I was so pleasantly surprised by this story which is essentially a journey of the crew of the Wayfarer. Unlike many of my other books it's not a super fast paced book. It is really focused on characters and their stories, their histories and their relationships with one another and their day to day life as they make this really long journey to a job that they're trying to complete. I hope that we get some more books set in this world because the characters and the world building were just so wonderful. The next book that I want to talk about is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And this one was super popular when I first started watching booktube videos last year and everyone was talking about it and the really strange and interesting format that the authors chose to tell this story in through instant messages and document files and graphic design images and all that sort of thing. And it absolutely blew me away and it was my first foray back into young adult science fiction. You know, it's intimidating when you pick this book up because it's huge and you start reading it though and it's so fast paced because of the format that it's told in. I loved the drama and the energy that this book had. When two mega corporations decide to war over a tiny little outpost planet in the middle of nowhere, it sets off a chain reaction that forces the occupants of this planet to flee on a small number of ships and our two main characters, Katie and Ezra, who are barely speaking to one another at all at the start of this book, have to learn to work together to try and survive in this very hostile environment as they're being chased through space by people who want to cover up what happened on this planet. Again, this is another book I highly recommend. The next two books that I'm going to talk about, I'm actually going to talk about their series because they are now complete series and I read them both because of booktube. They're both by the same author and if you've know me well enough you're probably going to predict what they are. The first one I'm going to talk about is the Shades of Magic series by B.E. Schwabs which starts with The Darker Shade of Magic. I absolutely adore this series. It is hands down my favorite fantasy series currently and I love the way she builds worlds. I love her characters and I love that she wasn't afraid to approach the concluding book in this particular story arc of the series with such grace and respect to her characters and to not shy away from hurting characters or killing characters or just showing that the realities of war and warring against other people can have serious consequences. And I think that's lacking in a lot of books that I tend to read, particularly when they're being wrapped up. I think authors get a little bit scared, but I love how B.E. Schwab wasn't scared to do that in this series and also in this next series that I'm going to talk about, which is the Monsters of Verity duology that began with this savage song and concluded with our dark duet. I didn't know what to expect from this series. I remember when the book first came out, there was a lot of hype around it because there was no romance in this particular book and everyone thought that was gonna be fantastic because it's a young adult fantasy. I, but it was a real mystery to me because people talked about the monsters in this book. And I remember watching quite a few wrap ups 
around the time that it was released because I hadn't decided whether or not I was gonna buy it. I was watching them going, no, I, I actually, I trust these people. I trust the people that are t talking about this book and talking about it positively. I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna read it. And I'm so glad that I did because I absolutely adore this series. I love this Savage Song. I love Our Dark Duet even more. Our Dark Duet broke me this year. If any book has made me cry, it was Our Dark Duet. And I just, I became so attached to all of the characters. I love the world. I love the concept of a world where violent acts create literal manifestations of violence. So monsters are created from violent acts and it's just such an interesting idea. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Fee Schwab's work now. She's obviously now a autobi author and that's because I was prompted to pick up her books initially by people on booktube and I'm so grateful for that. What books have you picked up because you saw a booktuber recommend them or someone on bookstagram or on a blog? What did what have you picked up and what have you been pleasantly surprised by? I will leave all of the links to the Goodreads group down below. It is currently hosted by the lovely Sam from Thoughts on Home so definitely check out the group if you're interested in Top 5 Wednesday. I hope that wherever you are in the world you are having a wonderful day and I will catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.